crocheted ruffles. Aren't they cute? This I am making in the round, but I'm going to show you how to do it uh, on a straight row. One row of double crochets and one row of front post doubles to make the ruffles. You'll need to chain an even number of stitches and then make a row of just double crochets. So I have an odd number of double crochets to start with. I'm going to chain one and turn and then I'm going to double crochet in the very first stitch. I like to do it this way because it creates some stability on the side of my work and it doesn't leave a gap that a double crochet or and it doesn't leave a gap that a chain two would leave. So that's a single crochet turn and then a double crochet in the same stitch. So I've got a stable edge to my piece. Now to make the ruffles we're going to go into the next stitch but we're going to do our stitch around the post of the next stitch. So the post is the tall part of the stitch. It's not the top, it's the vertical piece here. We're going to do a front post double crochet. So we're going to yarn over, go behind the post to pull up a stitch, and then complete our double crochet. One front post double crochet. We're going to do two more. Yarn over, go around that same post, complete the front post double crochet, and one more time, yarn over, go around the post, and you've completed a part of a ruffle here. You're going to chain two, skip the next stitch, and if you lay your work flat, against itself, you'll see where the very next stitch is. Skip that, go to the next stitch, and use the post to do the same thing we did before. Three front post double crochets around that same post. One, two, and three. So now you have these pieces that are sort of laying in front of the rest of your work. You're just going to continue on the same pattern, chain two, skip the next stitch, and three front post double crochets around the post of the following stitch.
When you get to the very last two stitches, you'll chain two, skip the next stitch, and double crochet in the very last stitch. Let me show you what that looks like. It should start to look a little roughly. It's hard to tell when we were working on it, but now it looks a little more like ruffles. So for the next row, chain one, turn, now make sure when you're looking at this that you're able to tell where your ruffles are and then there's a ridge of stitches at the base of the ruffles. That's the, rid that's the area we're going to be working into. And we're going to work a double crochet. I'm just kind of folding my work over so I can work on that ridge. I'm going to double crochet in the very first stitch and in each stitch across. We're working on that ridge. Double crochet all the way across. When you get down to the last two stitches, you'll double crochet in the last two stitches, chain one, and turn. And from here on out, it's the same as we started. It's a two row repeat. And I always like to double crochet in that very first stitch for stability on the edge and then my stitch pattern starts which is three front post double crochets around the next stitch, chain two, skip one, repeat. There's one front post double crochet, two front post double crochet, three front post double crochet, chain two, skip one. Now it's a little easier to see. You're basically just skipping the post that you can see here easily, and then three front post double crochets around the next post. One, two, and three, chain two, skip the next stitch and post and start again on the next. So again, that's three front post double crochets around the same post, chain two, skip one. When you get to the end, you'll chain one, turn, double crochet all the way across. And that's your two row repeat. And that makes a nice little ruffle. You can do it for as many rows as you like or as many rounds as you like. I've done it here in alternating colors on a round piece and the story is the same. One row of double crochets and one row of front post doubles to make the ruffles. I think it looks best in lighter weight yarns, but I'm sure you will make it look beautiful no matter what you do.
Thank you for watching. Now go make something beautiful. Bye. Hi, it's Rebecca. Thank you so much for watching. I'm uploading a new video at least once a week, so I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.